Hello everybody and welcome to the video. And this video is a different kind of video. This video is about a podcast that I have been a part of um, since 2013. And obviously we've only done like 89 episodes or something like that. Most podcasts that go nine years, I think they're in like the 300 or 400 um, episode range. Um, but we would take little breaks here and there. But basically, it's a show called Jalo Chow Chow. And it is a podcast about Jalo film. The main um, focus of it, and for those of you who don't know, Jalo are, um, or Jali, the plural, are um, Italian mysteries um, that are just amazing. And they kind of sometimes fall into the horror category depending on which movie you're talking about um but it's generally a um uh kind of who done it um and people are trying to find the killer kind of thing um but there there's so many little staples and tropes that you only find in Jali. And so it's um, it's just they're a lot of fun. And we kind of focus on films in between 1970 and 1975. But um, we have done stuff from the 80s, done stuff from the 90s. Um, we do a lot of stuff in the 60s because that's like the proto Jali um, before like the main golden period but um if you know like directors like um dario argento and um lucio fulci and mario bava actresses like edwidge fennec oh george hilton not an actress but an actor so we recorded an episode yesterday and um, I'm like, you know what? I don't like talk about this podcast at all on this show so or on this channel. So maybe I should like do a little bit um, to like give you a little taste of what it's like. Because it's um, in depth about certain films. But then it's also a bunch of um, dudes talking shit. So um, I figured I'd give you a little bit here to whet your appetite um and if you are interested in it just wherever you get your podcast look up jalo chow chow um and um there will be how to spell it in the description if you don't know how to spell it um but yeah so this episode that you're gonna see bits from probably won't be up for another couple weeks but again there's like 80 some odd episodes um on the thing. So like iTunes or Podbean or whatever you get podcasts on. Um, and there's a Facebook group too, like Jalo Chow Chow Facebook group, if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Chow Chow, everybody, and welcome. Oh, this is, we have to do that again, huh? Chow Chow. Oh, shit. Chow chow, everybody, and welcome to this latest installment of Jalo Chow Chow, the Jalo Superstore, where here in episode 12, we're gonna go deep into Double Face. And it's me, and Al, and Chris, and we're gonna be doing this together, because we have the clap, and it's gonna be good. Um, yeah, you could, you could wear white until Labor Day. And I'm like, am I sweating because of the, like, me trying to get the zipper up? Or am I sweating because I'm wearing a sweater and it's fucking hot now? I haven't had a drink in two days, um, until about 30 seconds ago. Now that my skeletons are all out in the fucking... Let's talk about something else with a shit ton of problems, because, uh, it'll take the attention off of me. Let's talk about Double Face. Wow. Maybe you could put a timestamp for fucking sarcasm, you dick. I, I have no idea. One of the reasons why I talk so much shit on Argento is because it pisses so many people off. 120 minute Memorex. Deal. All right, everybody. 
Today, we're doing Double Face, starring Klaus Kinski and a bunch of other people. It all started back when I was skiing in the Alps, and this sexy woman put me on her sled. Oh my god, she's fucking breathtaking, dude. Not only is he now married to this woman, but um, she's a closet lesbian. But my bathtub water is water but it's turquoise. The water in my toilet isn't blue. Do you want a divorce? And she's like, oh God, that is so middle class. I've left everything to you. So if anything happens to me, you will be very well taken care of, even though like you disgust me and I hate being around you and I'd rather fuck this bitch. But just so you know, you'll always be taken care of. So in case you have any like thoughts of murdering me or anything like that, um, you now have a motive, but it's okay because you know, but nobody knows you know, so it's like super cool and top secret. So like no one will ever know that you killed me if you ever decide to kill me. The movie totally redeems itself by putting Helen in this beautiful white mini dress with these fucking amazing boots and this awesome like gold link belt. Oh my fucking God. She's in a room with fucking da blue damask wallpaper. And I'm just like going, oh, baby, brush your hair some more. Oh, take all the time you want at the vanity. I'll just sit right here. Liz is wearing this beautiful fucking leopard fur fucking coat thing. And I'm like, oh, this is good. And then you know what fucking Helen does? She's like, bitch, hold my fucking beer. And then she goes and gets this fucking gorgeous dark brown leather coat with fucking dark brown fur trim. Oh my fucking coat orgy. Coat orgy. Art fucking Vandalay. That's <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're putting a bomb in this car. So I'm confused. Maybe she wasn't a secretary. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm just trying to watch a movie. It's like, oh, have a seat, Mr. Cops. And they're like, no, we'll stand. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, let me ask you some questions. Can't you see that I'm fucking busy? Um, like, like what happens whenever you don't go home for a while, when you go back, there will be a naked woman in your shower. And as the motorcycle guys drive by, they rip your clothes off and it's funny. So, oh yeah. So he finds her finally. And she's like, Ooh, put on my movie, put on my movie. Oh, you need to go down to the fucking ports where his fucking studio is, you stupid shit. And then he walks towards the light and gets punched in the face. So then he says, I should probably do that again. He puts on a stupid fucking coat and fedora like it's fucking 1942. Like, who was she? Who was she? The countess. Who was she? She's the wife of some industrialist. Why do you want to know anyway? Well, let's just say I'm an industrialist. And he's like, oh, wasn't that Mr. Brown who just left? And he's like, well, it might have been. There are 37,000 clocks in this room. Oh, you like clocks, huh? And he's like, yes, I, I do like clocks. And I wind them all myself. He's like, that's a lot of work. And he's like, yes, it takes up the majority of my time since I don't go to work anymore. I just stay here and wind fucking watches all day. When the fuck were they going to let us know that he's got a clock kink? I could never seem to get it right. It was always an hour fast. Holy shit. This case just broke wide open. What the fuck are they talking about? L let's just try to quickly get through the rest of this fucking shit show here. Why the fuck would she give him a gun? And now we're back where we started. I hope that was a decent enough taste of what you could find, at least out of my mouth, on the Jalo Chow Chow podcast. It's a lot of fun, um, and it gives you some stuff to listen to and some ideas on movies to watch. So, um, if you've listened to it before, let me know down below. If you like Jally and you haven't listened to it before, why aren't you? But let me know down below and we'll have a little talk talk about it. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!